about today. Do you know why? It's because we're starting a new series and it's about, that's right, superheroes. I'm so excited. I love superheroes. Spider-Man, obviously one of my favorites. That's why I have this box. Ah, but I am so ready because superheroes in the Bible. That means we're going to learn about some pretty cool people and there might be some characters that you don't know about yet. So you have to make sure that you're watching every week. You never know, maybe we're gonna pick one of your favorite characters. All right, so you know the deal. First, we're gonna have some worship. So I hope you're ready, because it's gonna be good. All right, first we gotta pray. So you know the drill. Bow your head and close your eyes. All right. God, thank you so much for being who you are. We love you so much. And thank you that we have an opportunity to be with our friends even though we're not like really together. God, you're so good and we're so grateful for everything that you've done for us. God, I ask that you would keep all of our friends safe and that you would just keep, um, just help us to learn something from our, our lesson today and that we would have a good time and that we get to see each other really soon. God, you're so good and I'm so grateful to you for everything. I ask that you would bless today in Jesus name, amen. Okay, so are you guys ready for today? Cause it's gonna be really good. All right, well, you know what happens next. It's time for worship. So you know the drill. Please stand up. Come by. 
superheroes out there, my kings, kids, what's up? That was some great worship. I'm so glad that you guys were praising Jesus all over your house. And now I know you're ready for a game. So this month we're talking all about superheroes, right? So I think it would be fun if you would go around your house and find three things that make you look like a superhero. Or even if you have an old costume that's a superhero, go get it, put it on, get a cape. What else do you need? Cape so you can fly, maybe a mask to hide your identity. Um, anything that you can find that turns you into a superhero. Go ahead, find those things, take a selfie, and you know what to do. You know where to post it on Facebook, Instagram, KC Oahu Kings Kids. Because what are you gonna do? You're gonna win some prizes. We wanna see all the superheroes out there. Are you ready? Go get your best superhero outfit. Game starts now! I'm so excited. It's Superhero Sunday! Well, actually, it's Superhero Month. So we're gonna be talking about superheroes in the Bible. And there might even be some ones that you haven't heard about yet. Like today, well, I'm just so excited about this mask. I wanna wear it, but I probably shouldn't. But I'm so excited. So today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about two women in the Bible one, her name was Deborah. She was the only girl judge in the entire book of Judges. Like everything, like she was with Samson and she was with like all of those like Joshua and Gideon. She was one, she was the only woman and she was just as good as the boys. So girls, keep in mind, we should be like Deborah. She was so close to God. She was a prophetess meaning that God spoke directly to her. So whenever God had something to tell his people, the Israelites, he just told her and she told them. Well, there's this really cool story. She was listening to God one day and God told her, she's like, you're gonna go to war and you're gonna defeat them and they're not gonna hold you guys in captivity any longer. So she went to her friend, Barak, not the president, but Barak. He was from a crazy word. I don't know how to say where he was from, but he was really cool. He was the army general. And she said, you gotta go. God said that if you go and you fight Sisera's army, then you guys are gonna win. And he was like, you know, I trust you, but I, I'm not gonna go unless you go with me. He, she was so in tune with God that he wanted her by his side because he had way more faith in her than he had in himself. So that was his fault. He should have had enough faith in God. But Deborah was like, okay, I'll go with you. And they beat Sisera's army. But Sisera, he fled. He's the bad guy of the story. Sisera ran away when he saw that Barak and Deborah and their army were beating his army. Like, he got super scared. And so he ran, like he ran for his life to like, to an, a tent. It was kind of like a, like where other people were living. Not, they weren't part of the war. And he went to this tent and he was thinking, oh hey, this, this is JL. JL is the other hero of our story. This is, this is her husband's tent. He's on good terms with my boss, so I'm gonna be safe here. So he went in, he was like, excuse me, JL, I, I need a safe place. And she's like, okay, sure, come on in. She's like, here, let me make you a bed. You look very tired. She made him a bed. And then he was like, I I'm so thirsty. C can I have something to drink? And she's like, 
here you go, here's a nice glass of milk. He got so comfortable and she's like, just rest, just rest. So he fell asleep because he thought he was safe. And then, out of nowhere, JL kills him. Like, like superhero way, just kind of takes him out. And in killing him, she helped save the Israelites. She ended the war. She was so cool. Deborah and Barak and the rest of the Israelites sang songs about her because she, just, she was so brave. And I, as I was reading the story, I was thinking, you know, sometimes we, well, Sisera can kind of like remind us of fear. You know, fear, it, it runs to us. It's looking for a safe place to hide and to rest. And, you know, sometimes we let it in our mind. So, like, it, it can be something as simple as someone else telling me, um, I don't like your hair like that. Well, now I have fear of what's wrong with my hair. Um, maybe, it, maybe I should cut it. Maybe I should, I should braid it. Maybe it's, it's just not good enough. And then maybe, maybe I, I'm working with some friends on schoolwork and I'm just, I'm having a lot of problems with one of the answers. And they're like, what, how do you not know that answer? It's so easy. And so I, I have fear of, whoa, maybe I'm, I'm not smart enough. And then maybe, maybe you're having problems learning how to read. Letters can be really hard sometimes. And if that's the case, you might just be feeling like you're not smart enough. Or, or we could even go as far as, as sports go. Maybe you're having problems, you know, making that free throw or, or hitting a baseball. I can't do that. And a lot of times growing up, I felt like I wasn't good enough because I couldn't play sports. And so we allow that fear to come on in and we kind of just let it stay there. So sometimes, you know, if, if someone says, you know, Auntie Courtney, I really don't like your hair today. Then I'm gonna start thinking, wow, if, if they don't like my hair, do they like my outfit? Do, do they like my makeup? Like, do they like me? And it can just, I can just make it like a bed and I can keep feeding it and just allowing that fear to, to stay and to kind of like set up a place to stay. But we gotta be like JL. We can't just let the enemy stay in our minds. Instead, we got to just kill it. No, 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 no. I am not going to let fear stay inside. You're not setting up camp in my mind. You got to just take a tent peg and shove it through his head. That's what she did. I didn't tell you guys that before because I thought it might be a little, a little much. But that's what she did. She killed it, and that's what we gotta do to our fear. She might have been afraid, but she didn't let that stop her. She went for it, and she helped the Israelites defeat the Canaanites. Like, they sing songs about her because she was a superhero. Which brings us to our memory verse. Okay, ready? It is 2 Timothy, I'm gonna read it because I don't wanna get it wrong. 2 Timothy chapter one, verse seven, and it's, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Meaning anytime fear is gonna come in, God didn't give us that spirit. Instead, he gave us the spirit of power. We can take the fear and we can just kick it out. He gave us the, the spirit of love because he loves us and a sound mind. So here's the memory verse one more time. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. I'm so excited to share the story of Deborah and JL with you. They're our first superheroes in our series. So I hope that you enjoyed the story because they're pretty cool. So next week, I wonder who we're going to talk about. Maybe it'll be Samson, he was pretty strong. Or, or maybe David, I mean, he killed a giant. Or maybe it'll be someone else in the Bible. That, someone maybe that we haven't learned about really yet. I don't know, it's gonna be a surprise. So that means you gotta keep watching.
Thanks, Auntie Courtney. That was such a great message about superheroes. I know that we all love superheroes. Well, how was Deborah a superhero? She spent so much time with God and she was anointed. And that's where she got her superpowers from. Straight from God, so much so that she helped an army general win the war with God's help. How was JL a superhero? She stood up to fear. She did not let fear take over. She did not let fear um, change her thinking. She knew that God made her and did not give her a spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. So guys, just remember, you're a superhero. I am a superhero. And God's given us all that we need to conquer fear. And don't forget, to show us your pictures of you with your superhero costumes and tag us on social media, KC Oahu Kings Kids. We wanna give you prizes and we wanna see all your pictures. We love you, we miss you. Have an awesome Sunday and we'll see you next week.